open up my oven. Oh, but look at look that. Look at that. <laughs> they look pretty golden. Mom, I want my no Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. We've been running for three hours now. Oh, it smells so good. And so... Yeah, that's Yuri's good. Yuri's growling at her toy. Pretty hot though. Alright, we better put it away before I, know, we're gonna I eat, eat it all. That end slides through the circle end, and then this side has a square end that allows you to select the four different positions. Use the fire sticks here, just adjust it back just a little bit. Wow, the coffee spit is a winner. I really like that. It's just kind of a whole different way to roast. Wow. Firebox is a true folding stove with hinged panels. The upwards angle creates flame velocity and crossing the sticks creates turbulence. As soon as the flames go out, I'll put the steak on. Oh look, it fits perfect. It does fit perfect. <laughs> you just, you creates the perfect one inch headspace. Check out this new accessory for the Firebox Nano. It's a case and it's actually a stand for the Firebox Nano. The X pattern locks the Nano in its open position. These pins slide up into the carbon felt, create a wind block. Even put this wind block across the corner It all started with my favorite backcountry meal, fish and potatoes. I've been perfecting the meal ever since my scoutmaster introduced it to me as a kid. I've tried all kinds of cookware and techniques, and I learned something new every time I cooked that delicious meal. Till I finally came across the perfect combination. A classic chef-style saute pan and a good old-fashioned pie tin. Once I sized these to work together perfectly, the Ultra Cook Kit was born. Its components are multifunctional, yet they work together to form an ultralight Dutch oh, yeah. oven. You can cook, roast, bake, fry, just about anything. 
bacon and eggs, a whole chicken, we've cooked pizzas, I've even done a seven hour roast. And it's all really easy in this system because it all works so well together. On top I have the optional shallow plate. Uh, this is nice because it does offer some versatility when you're using it as a Dutch oven. Then you can have a shallow Dutch oven uh, or you can even turn it upside down and put the coals very close to the bottom for something like pizza or cookies. The regular pie plate is part of the uh, standard kit, but that shows you the height that that creates. The Epicurean cutting boards are very nice. Uh, we've sized them in two ways. You can either have the larger fit. Uh, this gives you a larger cutting board that fits up on the rim. Uh, or you can go with a maybe a little bit more compact system and have it fit down in the bottom of the pie plate. Our handleless fry pan is actually anodized on the outside and on the inside. And the hard anodized finish, a lot like cast iron but without the weight, is very durable and it is the perfect microstructure to accept a traditional seasoning so you can achieve that delicious flavor that only comes from using a well seasoned pan. We designed the first universal pan lifter that will work both with the handleless fry pan and with the very wide rim of the pie plate. It comes in a long handled version and the standard the Ultra Cook Kit comes in two sizes. This is the 10 inch version. This is what I use to feed my family of five. This is the eight inch version, which is perfect for solo trips or me and a friend. Just gonna put one stick in. I truly believe that the very best gear is born from experience. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. This is a coffee grinder that actually fits down into the handle of your AeroPress coffee maker. It doesn't take up any space. And it, it's actually very quite lightweight. Comes with this slightly shorter handle. It actually includes this reservoir. And it still fits into the coffee maker. But it just sticks out of the top just a little bit. But you don't really need the reservoir because you can grind your coffee directly into the AeroPress. It only makes sense. That's where you're going to put it anyway. So, really a good little system. I wanted the ability to work directly from my wallet. You can see that the tongue provides privacy and you end up holding your money the same way you would if you were counting it, making it really easy to see what you have and get what you need. And the cards are really easy to work with as well. I keep my most popular one in the back and the front, but if you need something in between, it's really easy to find it. I keep my receipts back in the back, and then after I've accumulated a few, I transfer them into my file. It's made out of a single piece of top grain leather with the sides and bottom wrapped around to the front. This provides nice, soft round edges and it makes it really compressible. The Easy Money Wallet, it's a working wallet and that's why you're gonna love it. The Easy Money Wallet. My muddy tires. Oh man, whatever. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Tighten up my little thumb screws, both sides. And there you have it. Nice little table. Hmm. Lift the whole thing off my tire. Slide that down, remove the little supports, 
put them into their storage position. And if I tighten up these thumb screws, I can use this as a handle. Perfect. Well, you started down here, but... Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. There we go. 